Hey guys, Miles here at Tactile Hive. And if you've been following us for a while, you know that I've been playing around and testing a product for probably a little over a year now that is tremendous for helping you diagnose your shooting and to improve your shooting live fire and dry fire. And that is the Mantis X10 Elite. This little sensor that can be attached to your pistol, to your rifle, to your shotgun, to the magazine of your pistol so that you can also uh, do draw work. But this device is tremendous. It is a huge benefit to improving your shooting. And if you've been wondering whether or not you should invest in the Mantis X10, I'm telling you guys right now, do so. We're not, we're, no, we're not endorsed, we're not paid by Mantis to actually promote this, but I'm telling you guys, I've tested this. And if you guys follow our reviews, we don't put out a lot of reviews because we wait to test things. And guys, this little thing is a great device. So stay tuned, going to dive into all the little features and benefits of this device and how it can help you improve your shooting. So the Mantis X10 Elite is uh, Mantis's premier product in diagnosing your shooting and helping you improve your shooting dry fire, live fire. And what it is, is it a little sensor that attaches to your, your pistol. Right? You can put it on a rail here on your pistol, and if it doesn't have a rail, they provide a Picatinny, a Picatinny rail which you can add to your magazine. Then you could add the sensor, you can attach the sensor to this rail and then actually insert it into your gun. So it can give you data, it could provide you the information that you need from your pistol, even though it's not attached to the actual handgun you're using, right? Before I dive into how it exactly works, uh, let's talk about what comes with it. So there's a sensor here that, as I talked about, is going to be attached to uh, your pistol or magazine. And again, there are attachments that you can use to attach it to your rifle and even to your shotgun. So when you buy the Mantis X10 Elite, it comes with this case, it's gonna come with this sensor and um, it's gonna come with a charging cable here, USB cable, some hardware to attach the gun to your shotgun, for example, um, and your rifle. And so this is a rail here that you can put it on the tube, your shotgun, or it's even advertised as you can use it with your crossbow or um, bow in general, right? So I don't know what those attachments are or if this exactly attaches, but that is a viable option. So you can actually gauge how well you're doing, how steady your shots are with different weapon platforms. So as I mentioned, the Mantis X10 is a sensor that attaches to your firearm. And it's going to provide you a lot of data to help you diagnose and to basically tell you what you're doing or not doing. And it is an invaluable tool because it is going to give you information that most shooters cannot diagnose on their own. Subtle movements in their sights, little movements that they don't recognize on their own. And you may have heard this by taking classes, instructors will tell you that they can't see what you're seeing, right? They can't, if, you're, if your sights are on target or not. And that's true. So in those instances, instructors rely on you, the shooter, to tell them what you may have seen. For example, instructor might come to you and go, okay, what did you see? Did you see your sights on the target? Um, or did you see your sights dip? Whatever it might be, okay? But some shooters, depending on your skill level, you may not be able to do that. For example, calling your shot. That is something that advanced shooters can do well. But a beginner who's not really, may not even know what that means. So if a beginner doesn't know what that means, they probably are not really tracking all the little movements of their sight, what their trigger press is doing, or all the sympathetic movements that they're, they're making with their grip. That's where the Mantis X10 comes into play. It is going to give you all of that data, all the little movements that you make before, during, and after your shot, it's going to tell you. And that is going to be valuable information because then if you don't know what's happening, the app is gonna tell you it's happening. So an instructor can't see it, and if your skill level is just not there yet, the app is going to tell you, and then it's gonna provide you fixes. So you might be wondering, okay, so how, how does this little device give you that information, right? It's just right here. There's no monitor, there's, no, there's nothing like that. And that's where the beauty of their app comes. So when you get this device, you can download the Mantis X10, X10 app, and the app is just tremendous. There's a lot of features, which I'm gonna dive into right now. So this Mantis X10 sensor is gonna feed the information into the app. So the app is available in Google Play Store or the App Store, and it looks just like this. So you're going to connect it to your device. After you connect it, it's going to actually give you access to the app. So you're gonna press connect, 
It's searching for the app, it's connected. And as you can see here, there are a lot of different programs that can be used in drills that will help you improve your shooting. So this is a very handy uh, tool here. And a lot of, you know, I hear LE and military, there's a lot of different technology that they use that can help you do exactly what the Mantis does. But the Mantis provides you a lot of information at a fraction of the cost. So as you can see here, there's a lot of cool programs. For example, there's a holster draw analysis, recoil meter, and um, you can do open training. I personally don't use a lot of the programs myself because I, follow, I have my own training programs that I follow and I use the Mantis X10 as a diagnostic tool, as an analysis tool to show me what I can do to improve. But the beauty of this is that it's great. You, if you don't really know how to train properly, this gives you some guidance here, right? So let's just dive into one of these programs, for example. Let's take open training here. So I'm gonna type in open, I'm gonna hit open training and you can see from this app that it'll ask you, are you gonna do dry fire? Are you gonna do live fire? Are you right-handed or left-handed? Are you going to put the, the, uh, the sensor forward or backwards, whatever it might be, okay? And this doesn't matter if it's attached to your, your firearm or the magazine of your firearm, okay? So I'm going to switch this and just go back to uh, dry fire. But the idea here is this is going to allow you to take shots and it's gonna analyze everything. So I'm gonna hit start here and it's attached to my Glock 19. And you'll see this is, I'm just doing open training right now. And right now I'm going to rack my slide and you're gonna see it's going to register this shot. So I'm gonna take a shot down range here, just dry, and I'm going to press the trigger and you'll see it's going to register a score here. I'm gonna take a few shots so you'll see this live what's happening here. I'm gonna take two more shots and another shot. Now if we to go back to the app, you'll see that it's, it's giving me a score right in the center, okay? It is telling me possible causes that I might be missing the shot here. You'll see the red at the very bottom here, that's telling me where kind of like the, the muzzle is dipping, okay? Which is pretty cool stuff here. And it gives you the possible causes, as I said, tightening grip. And if you scroll left and right, it also gives you more information here. It tells you where the movement of your trigger was when you were holding the actual pistol, as you see in yellow and in blue. So these are great tools here. And you can also keep track of everything that you're doing. So this is the open training platform here. I'm, I'm gonna hit history here and it'll tell you everything that you've done here. So this is a small sampling here. I haven't shot in a while, uh, used this app in a while, but you'll see all the shots here in the center. Those are recent shots and you have the time frames here that you can use. So this is really cool in the sense that you can go back and gauge performance. There are also groups, a groups function here, which I haven't used and you can, you know, this is something that you can, connect with other people and so that you can share performance. And it's kind of, it provides that competitive nature, the gamification, right? So it might make you want to train more than uh, other people, okay? Or, and then get better scores. Another cool thing about this app is, I already told you that it'll tell you possible causes. As you see on the screen right here, it says pushing forward, breaking wrist down. And if you don't understand what that is, all you got to do is tap and then it'll give you examples. It'll dive in deeper as to what may be potentially happening. Now remember, I'm saying potential. So this app is gonna give you possible reasons for inaccurate shots. Don't take it as gospel though. There can be other things going on, but this gives you a little bit of a direction. So this is really great, especially for people who don't have an instructor and really don't have a clue as to how to diagnose their shooting. It gives you that guidance. Let's take another look at a different uh, training uh, program here within the app, and that's the holster draw analysis, which is only available to people who buy the X10 Elite, which is this entire kit here. So I'm going to look at this at the app here. So this would be the start screen, and I'm going to press start here. I'm going to mimic the draw. I don't actually have my Glock 19 holster with me. So what we're going to do though, is just kind of show you how this would look here. So I press start. It's going to say holster your firearm. So I'll pretend my, holster, my firearm's holstered. So it'd be steady here. It's gonna say standby. Then it gives you a signal. You would draw, take your shot. And so I had to rack the slide, but you'll see here, let's take a look here. I'm gonna stop and you'll see in the app here, it gives you a lot of data here, okay? So it tells you the total time, 248 for that draw to the shot, right? But you'll see that it tells you how long it took for you to get your grip. So I mimicked it. I already had my hand on the grip, but if you didn't, 
that first part in the green at the bottom, it took me 1.07 seconds to get that grip. Then it would measure the pull, okay? So right now it's zero. And this is one of the, pull is actually pulling the, the gun out of the holster and then actually the horizontal, what you see kind of that, that aqua green there, that light green, is how long it took to get the gun parallel with the ground. So when your muzzle's pointing at the actual threat or the target. And then finally, um, how long you were on target in the, in the brown or tan here. And then the red is the actual shot, okay? So how long it took to, for you to, to take that shot once you were on target, staying on target. One thing though about this specific app, okay, I'm just gonna show you this real quick here about the draw here, is that sometimes if you have a really quick draw, it may not record the pull. So just to emphasize again, the grip, time to grip, the pull is how long it took you to take the gun out of the holster, the horizontal is how long the gun, how long it took you to get the gun pointing down range, then target is how long you were on target, then the actual shot is the last um, item there, okay? So that's pretty cool with the holster. But as I mentioned, there's other programs here which are pretty awesome and, and pretty fun. There's the hostage uh, rescue program, which uh, you, you know I'm not gonna talk about, but if you guys wanna try it out, but it's just all, a lot of fun different things, programs here. Another great thing about the app is that there are four primary screens that provide you data here based on the program, the exercise, the drill that you're using. And the first screen is gonna give you the average score, how many shots you're taking, the times of the shots, as you can see here, then all you gotta do is swipe to the left and then it's gonna give you kind of that bullseye picture that I showed you earlier where it's gonna tell you if your shots went up, were they in the center, left, right. It'll give you a diagnosis of what, you know, what kind of shooting. Right now it says great shooting. But as you scroll more, then you're going to get that screen where it gives you a movement of your trigger, movement of the gun. And what's cool is the last screen. This is where you can really dive into everything. And what this does is it, it literally shows you where your muzzle was moving. So I'm going to press play here, and what you're going to see is the blue is where your gun was moving, okay, before the actual shot. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna press this again, you'll see the blue is actually going to be the movement before the shot, okay? The yellow is going to be the, the movement that I had during the trigger press, basically when my gun was on, on target. The X is going to represent the actual shot, then the red is going to be any movement after. So this tells you if your shot, if you were steady. So for example, if you were always been wondering, okay, why am I missing that shot? And you're like, oh, my sights are on target. Well, this is gonna let you know if your sights were really on target or you moved it um, at the last minute. So pretty cool tool. And this will, it'll give you this graphic for every single shot. So if you, if you were great, if you were doing a series of shots, one, two, three, four, five, six, and then all of a sudden on the seventh shot, some, you shanked it, you wanna know specifically why, you can use this app to tell you, right? So it's great for dry fire and live fire. Okay, so rather than talk, let's, let's do a live example here. So we're, we have the app here. I'm going to just click open training and I'll show you everything, the power of this app. So I'm hit open training. We're going to do live fire. I am right-handed here and the, the sensor is pointing forward. So I'm going to hit start. It's going to allow me to take shots. So I'm going to load and make ready here. I'm just gonna shoot down range over there and uh, take a look at the app. You'll see it's gonna record every single shot here. I'm gonna take probably four or five shots here, okay? Okay, so I, I hit my target. Each, uh, it was a steel plate, probably around, I don't know, maybe 40 yards away here. But you'll see the first screen gives me a cumulative score. And it kind of tells me where my shots were going. So I'm kind of dipping a little bit, right? So I'm hitting my target, so it makes me wonder what, like what, exactly what's happening and why it gave me this score, right? So I can swipe to the right, and it tells me trigger press movement here in the yellow, and uh, the hold movement, kind of like what was happening with the movement of my gun. Was I stable with, with my arms? Was I stable or not? Before moving to the next screen, let's hit possible causes, right? So we can hit pushing forward, breaking wrist down, and again, it tells me what I might be doing. Now, is this important? Perhaps in a certain situation, I was hitting my target, no problem there, but what if it was rapid fire? Maybe that anticipation is gonna give me, you know, give me some issues here. So I'm gonna hit back, but now here, here it's, I took five shots, but notice, see, this is gonna tell me everything that was happening. Let's take a look at the, path, the, the fifth shot here. I'm gonna press play. So this was my movement before the shot. 
then yellow is exactly what's happening when I'm pulling the trigger, right? So I'm pulling the trigger and there's still movement. That's the yellow. Then the, the X is going to be the actual shot when it broke. And then the red is all the movement after that, right? You're going to see different patterns here. And let's, you can, let's look at pattern four here, shot four, similar, three, two, one, but the idea is it's gonna tell you all the movement. Now, I wasn't taking this seriously, it's just more for demonstration purposes, but you can see the value of this. It's extremely powerful here. So if you can't see what's happening, you're missing your shots, this is gonna tell you exactly why, right? And as I mentioned, you can use this on any type of firearm. You can use this on a, uh, you can use shotgun, rifle, a, a handgun. And as I mentioned, I, have, I haven't seen it, but I have read literature that the X-10 can be, be attached to a bow or a crossbow. So you might be wondering how well does the Mantis X10 perform? As I said already, I, I highly recommend this. I use it also. And if you ask people who have talked to me about it, I recommend it highly to them and I don't get anything for it, right? So it performs extremely well, right? It, it, for the cost, it provides you great information. It's not perfect, right? So despite the imperfections, it's still a great tool. Now you might be wondering, okay, what, what are those imperfections? I already talked about one, right? When you're drawing, okay? So sometimes, this is for those of you who are really fast and advanced. It might not catch it. There are times where I'll be using my race holster for competition and I'm drawing and the pull is so fast that it does not register that pull. I already talked about that. Another thing is when you look at this app right now, you will see that, let's go to that shot five, which uh, you saw just a little bit earlier. You see that, Right now, the crosshairs are centered right in the middle there, right? And you would think that's where the shot's going to take place, right? But actually the steel plate is where the where that white X was, that's when I broke the shot and it hit the actual target, right? So it's not perfect in the sense that wherever the, the bullseye is or the vortex meets here, the Y and the X axis, that isn't necessarily where that steel plate was, right? So it's a sensor, it just gives you, you know, it's not gonna be perfect, okay? And so you just, you use this as a diagnostic tool that gives you trends. And this is the way I look at it too. I look for patterns in all the shots I'm taking. I don't necessarily look at each individual one and take it for granted. I'll look at a pattern, right? So if I'm seeing that I'm always moving my gun down, let's say that red line was going down every single shot, then it tells you, you know what? You got an issue there where you're not staying on target. Maybe you're not following through. The whole idea of take that shot, keep your gun there and follow through, okay? So very, very powerful. I mean, it works good enough to give you the information that you need to get better. Now, has this helped me a lot? It has, because as I mentioned earlier, it provides information that you cannot see on your own. And even if you go to an instructor who's watching you closely, like they're right on top of you, they're not going to see it too. Okay, so this is a great product. It's very reliable. As I mentioned, the performance, it works extremely well, it's particularly for the, the cost. And honestly, I don't know of any other product out there that does what the Mantis X10 does other than thousands and thousands, the systems that are thousands and thousands and thousands of dollars, which uh, for example, a military or LE might use. So once again, if you're thinking about getting the Mantis X10, I highly recommend it. Um, a lot of our subject matter experts have also used this extensively and really like it. And also uh, some of our shooting friends out there, uh, for example, Ross and Hustra from Tactical Performance Center really raves about this as well. Um, so highly recommend it. And it, it's not just for live fire, you can use it for uh, dry fire as well. I primarily use it for dry fire. Um, remember there are lots of different programs in the app which you can use to improve different skill sets, drawing, um, reloads, one-handed shooting, and a lot of fun programs if you need that, uh, kind of that push to keep on training. So if you guys are thinking about picking up the Mantis X10 and wanna get even more details, um, the specs and just more photos and just more information about it, make sure to click the link below which will take you to a more comprehensive text review that we conducted about the Mantis X10 Elite. And if you're ready to purchase the Mantis X10 Elite, if you do so through the link in our text review, we're going to give you our dry fire challenge, 30 day dry fire challenge program completely for free because we believe in the product and also this is a great tool to use in unison with the Mantis X10 Elite. So dry fire plus Mantis X10 Elite, you're gonna see marked improvement. All you have to do is 
send us your receipt at info at tactilehive.com and we'll confirm your purchase. Then we will send you login information to the 30 day dry fire challenge. Now keep in mind, we do get a small commission from Mantis X10 Elite um, if you do buy through our link. But you know what, we're not, we don't care about that. This is something we truly believe in. And even before we had a partnership with Mantis X10 Elite, we are, we've been pushing them nonstop. It's a great product and we believe in it. But if you do also want to get the Mantis X10 Elite with our dry fire program, which is $297 and you get it for free, let us know, purchase through our link, send us an email with the purchase receipt and we'll get you access.